John. Uh, so this movie kind of takes inspiration from the Momo and the Slenderman internet phenomena. What about this like mimetic kind of horror uh, really appealed to you? Um, I mean, what what kind of grabbed me was the um, the uh, disc- generational disconnect between what parents thought it was and what kids thought it was. And uh, it just kind of like exposed the um, the difference in the uh, kids relationship to technology versus parents relationship to technology and that kind of generational divide. Um, Because, you know, parents were kind of freaked about the Momo challenge. Parents were kind of freaking out about it. And kids were just kind of like, huh, what, what is it? You know? Um, And I, I just, that was just kind of ripe for satire. And there were just so many like possibilities for commentary in there that I, I just kind of dove in. For sure. Yeah. And uh, Sarah, what about Grim Cuddy drew you to the project when you uh, first heard about it? I think at first it was the name. Um, Cause like, I, I just like auditioned for it. Like any other audition, but I saw the name. I was like, huh? Okay. Um, and I read the sides. I didn't get the whole script yet. And I really connected with um, the character Asha. Um, and I love horror and I love screaming and I love like running from a monster. And once I like got like more, like of what was happening of it. I was like, wow, this is really interesting. The relationship between um, the teenagers and their parents. Um, So like when everything came together, I was just drew in by it, by it all. Absolutely. And uh, Usman, so going off of John's kind of theme of the disconnect, your character starts from a place of love and becomes more paranoid. How did you go about portraying that process? I think it was just important to to root um, the character in truth, which is honestly what you would do with any character, regardless of the genre uh, of film or, or that you're working on. So we wanted to make it clear that he was just kind of a nice, loving dad who really wanted the best for his kids, but that very quickly he gets he starts to feed into these um, you know, what people are saying or what things he sees. And that fear turns into a level of paranoia that is almost like, I kept coming back to this on set, that it's almost like an affliction, you know, that he's afflicted by this thing that is making him behave irrationally around his children uh, to the point where he becomes a threat to them in his own right. Um, so it was just important to, you know, John and I had a lot of conversations on set about just tracking that journey for the character, where he starts and where he ends. And to always know that even though at the end of the day, you're in a movie that has this giant monster or this creature, that you can still find these real potent moments of truth that exist within the character and how they relate to each other. For sure. Yeah. And I, um, going off what Usman was saying, I mean, Usman did such a great job of playing this guy who's likable. And even though he kind of goes, he kind of descends down this dark path, you always you always get a sense that there's this likable guy is still in there. It's, it's, it's not like a guy who's becoming this like domineering patriarch or something. You, you always get the sense that it's this likable guy who's been led astray and, and you want, um, you know, Asha to rescue him. And I, Usman, I thought you just did such a really good job of, of, uh, of capturing that and, and conveying that emotionally on screen. Thank you. Yeah. Definitely agree. Um, and so, John, Grim Cuddy also delves into how easily hysteria can spread in the internet age. Um, what made that theme important to you? Um, <laughs> well, uh, you know, I, I mean, it's especially I, I wrote it before the pandemic, but then the pandemic just kind of exacerbated all these feelings of like, um, you know, how is how is the internet and social media and, and like the 24 hour news cycle affecting our brains? Um, and definitely during the pandemic, I, I, I was, you know, being kind of stressed out and, and I, I, I did like a social media detox for myself. Um, and, uh, it, it worked, it had like a big effect on me. So, um, I think, uh, you know, I, I think spending a lot of time online and on social media can fill people with a lot of anxiety and tension and, um, I just hope by turning that into a horror film, it gets people thinking about how they can kind of get that under control in their own life. Um, if it if it gets people thinking about that, and you know, then then I'll be happy. Yeah, it totally makes sense. 
And uh, Sarah, your character's journey throughout the film goes from being kind of a victim of Green Cuddy and, and hiding to actively searching for it to kill it, leading to that intense ending. So what was it like to play so many different sides of a character as they developed? Ooh, I think I just follow like where the story likes. I feel like as, as any human, um, any person, you would try to, I don't know, if it's really like afflicting you um, as a person, I would try to uncover what's happening and I think that's what Asha's doing as well it's like discovering like why is this happening and she's trying to solve the problem and the stakes get higher so her parents get more hysteric and she needs to solve it so I feel like I don't know we filmed it like <laughs> it's like films or films are never filmed in order so I felt like it's just like okay what do I want in this scene and it's just <laughs> it was one funny because like we were making jokes about like objectives and all that mm -hmm. um but yeah, it's just like, it's just like full like human moment. She grows. I feel like it's a little coming of age story about her growing into her own person. So, um, and I related to that too. So human to human, I related. And uh, Sarah, I thought you did such a really good job of, of tracking that character's growth. Like over time, um, throughout the course of the movie, you definitely feel, feel this journey that she goes on. Um, and yeah, it was out of order. It was crazy. And <laughs> you're able to like kind of keep that honed in uh was was uh i'm I'm really proud of you for that and it and it and it's uh it's a really great performance 